So these are the security configuration files, whatever the security tools that you have. All that will be configured here. All those configuration are going to be here, stored here. Right? So cd dot dot. Then we have last file is found. Those often files when system is crashed. For example, you let's say you're working on it right now. I've opened a text file and I'm working on it. And system crashes for some reason. Power goes off. A power supply blows out or some, something something happens. Something terrible, unimaginable. Right. So all those files you know, which you were working on, you know, they will be there often now. I mean, they don't have any name. They don't have uh, you know, any destination. So all that things, all those things will be you know, stored in and you know, lost plus found. And for some reason, you know, if you uh, delete that directory, you can create that by mk lost plus found uh, command. We can look into that later. So we have one more directory. Okay, so that's about it. I mean, it, it, of course, it's not in etsy directory. What I told you, last was found. No, that is not in etsy directory. So just, I mean, I'm going to see this here. As you can see, we have boot here. We have last was found here. So, I mean, uh, below the top directory. Then we wanted to go to slash root now. What is root? I mean, root is the root's home, the root's directory. Okay, root's directory. He has his own desktop. I mean, when you create other users, their directories will be placed inside home directory. Okay, inside home directory, you have all the you know, home directories of other users. But my home directory is at the very top, very top of all these adjacent to the home directory. So. So then we have uh, this RV, server data associated with databases. I've just color coded this here. SRV, what I mean just to not give you a hint, what is SRV? It means SRV, server. So server data associated uh, associated with databases, web, etc. Everything is stored here. So slash boot, physical, it's a physical disk based is a directory containing static data both files which are necessary for the system to boot like Linux kernels, bootloaders and you know other boot uh -oh. okay and boot configuration files here okay let me do this so all this is all these bootloaders everything you know bootloader when I say bootloader or loader I'm saying because you might have more than one bootloader or more than uh, same bootloader but two different versions okay you can have it from you know, one from uh, you can have a lilo or you can have your grub so you can have you know, different bootloaders so Linux is very flexible with that then you have var write var uh, it's, it's also a physical disk based directory containing var as in variable data of the system so whatever that is varying in your system that will be you know in here okay slash var holds dynamic data such as system log status and spool dynamic dynamics means it keeps on changing right let's see that okay cd slash var ls then what what do we have here so we have inside that we have a lot of other directories okay and then we have slash var slash log. So let's look into that. Uh, CD slash log. I'm trying to find the top directory, well, I don't know why I was actually going to the full path. Anyway, I don't need to show you the full path. I can just say cd log because I'm already inside var. You can do pwd. So here, inside, we are inside log. Alright, we inside slash. It contains all the log messages. Anaconda. 
where you say Anaconda, Anaconda is installer, all right? <coughs> and then we have cron jobs, all the logs with the cron job, you know, boot logs, right? So you know, when the system is pooling, you know, it has all the logs, poolers. So all these, you know, XORG, so what, what is your XORG, you know, your X window configure, X window logs, YAM log, you know, your YAM, uh, your installers, okay? Red Hat's you know, install automatic install YAM configuration. Okay, so these are the things that you can go ahead and you know, and uh, look into it when you when your system crashes or when you uh, see some you know odd behaviors uh, with the machine, something happens which is not supposed to. So you can look into the relevant log message and if you knew, know the time, then you can look you know look there and you know, what happened there actually, so that you can fix it, right? So that's how you do it. This is eight. Then we have. Then we ha also have slash uh, spool mail. What is that? I mean, okay, let's look into that. Uh -oh. CD dot dot less. I have a mail directory also. What is that? Hmm. <coughs> Here are the mail directories for Donna, Gaju, Harry, Henry, Nancy, Randy, you know, Root, RPC. I mean, all these are here. Okay. So, I'm going to also say cd dot dot. Okay. Then, what do we have inside spool then? Okay. Inside that also we have mail. As you can see, right? So actually, this is you know something. Really, uh, it, it's your option. I mean, you can actually you know have these directories wherever you want. You can actually create them you know wherever you want. But by default, you know, in a Linux machine when you install it, by default it will be in here, right? Uh, it, it uh, these mails will be stored here. So where is it? PWD slash var spool mail. Here you will find all the mails of all the users. So let's see cd dot And it's not a directory. Okay. So I'm gonna say cat. Okay. First to ls. I'm gonna say cat donna. More or less, Donna. Hmm. Okay, so let that just a file. And this is tab. Donna. So it's going to tell me it's a file. Oh, it's I have like regular empty file. Okay. So that's empty. Okay. So I'm going to say cd dot dot. ls. So that is for the mail. Then we have for what is for variable slash var slash opt. It holds log status and other variable data files of optional applications programs installed in the system. For example, in my case, I have installed OpenOffice.org 3, a third version, right? So I'm going to say cd slash opt ls. So I have Adobe. Adobe, whatever applications that I've installed from Adobe, all the log files are stored here from Adobe and OpenOffice.org, which was actually with the machine. I mean, it is optional, however, and OpenOffice.org 3. So the, they are the. Then we have. Hmm. And slash where slash spool holds all queued spool variable data before it is sent out. Are located at cron jobs, print jobs, and emails. So that means, <coughs> as you can see, slash var slash spool holds. The, I mean, earlier I, I showed you now two email directories. I just don't wanted to explain you that time. So here we have mail, but inside spool also we have mail. Let's see. see. Uh, actually, we got a CD. 